Hello, and welcome to the Product Tech Lab. We're excited to have you here and look forward to helping you bring your product ideas to life. We are providing the solution, Magical Cloud Solution, the invisible shield of protection, cybersecurity. Virtualize like a pro with Product Tech Lab. Application support. Call to backup infrastructure. Blaby and training facility. Technical innovation and idea. Need more scoop on our tech savvy services? Drop us a line at support at producticlab.com or zip over to our website https colon slash slash www.productechlab.com. Pust. We're also big shots on YouTube. Find us at youtube.com slash at productechlab and let's be friends. Thank you from Producticlin and more detail please mail us. Hi, welcome to the Product Tech Lab and uh, this lab is showing a few of the enhanced features like uh, troubleshooting purpose or fix this issues so of this type of things, okay. So already as we know, if we recap the earlier chapters like we have created the pods, we have created the container, we have created the uh, you know, metal LB, okay, and how to see the clusters and all those things, okay. So this chapter is showing for the few of the parts like um, if any pods are switching is so so how to troubleshoot it okay so first of all we know about the cube CTL, cube led cube ADM. so maximum comments we have to put cube CTL in my earlier video please see so you can understand maximum comments means 98 percent common i have put cube CTL. okay good so now this uh, i have seen few of this few of this part where Troubleshooting like a cube CTL gate, cube CTL gate pods hyphen O white. Okay, so we can see lots of pods is running. So in that case, we can see that if doing the troubleshoot, so we can add the cube a CTL describe. Okay, and PODS pods, and you can do the pod name. Okay, like this. If I put this name, okay, control C, control V. So we can see what is the container, how the token has been created, what is the pods. Okay, this type of things we can see the understanding. Okay, uh, and you can see the pod label. Okay, which is uh, controlled by. Okay, and what is the port TCP host port? Okay, when it is created. So all the information you can understand describe common over the pod. Same thing you uh, CTL describe the service okay and we put the service name uh, home lab raid uh, service okay. So if I put so we can see the what is the IP is okay what is the load balancer ingress okay what is the ports okay what is the external port i am telling you one thing okay so there is lots of thing you can see okay so if I someone says what is my uh, what is the external uh, ports what is the internal port okay in that case this is the if you are not using the uh, load balancer ingress okay load balancer ingress if you are not using so this is the internal port and this is the external port. Okay, so that will uh, if uh, I add uh, suppose I we add connected HTTPS colon over from slash uh, worker node WN one or WN two. Okay, so in that case colon you can put these services. Okay, so this is your external port. Okay, so this is the one of these things, and you can see what is the uh, endpoint this endpoint what is the IP address you can understand about it okay so what is this service name okay 
what is the namespace default namespace you can create it okay what is the external uh, external ip address you have to use so what is the uh, uh, services you can use so metal ip okay so this type of things you can do this um, part of this okay you can configure and you can check this if you see any kind of problem well so kubernetes okay basically kubernetes is called k8 okay so i told you in earlier just before i uh my earlier video in metal lb okay so now i am telling you why this k8 is calling okay this is nothing else basically if you see uh, if you see just uh new window go to the new window and go to the guest and it's better okay a kubernetes kubernetes logo if i follow this kubernetes logo you can see there is basically eight or uh, this is the pin you can see the uh your eight you can see stick in a single round that's called this is called k8 if we put the k8 k8 kubernetes okay k8 kubernetes means why is k8 See, Kubernetes is also known as K8 is open source system and are automating different scaling and management called centralized applications. Okay, I already told you this that part, but Kubernetes is uh, name is centralized. Uh, that means K8 applications or K8 orchestration, you can say that can be centralized, monitored, and centralized scaling that part and uh, your application. Okay. So um, this is the part of this Kubernetes, and if you have a certification, you can do. Okay, certification you can do. Uh, so from this Kubernetes applications or Kubernetes cluster, this is separate certification you can do it over this. Okay, you can log into the Kubernetes sites and if you do the certificate about it. Okay, so let's back to this my ports and services. Okay, so we understand the ports and we understand the services. We understand the meta LB. Okay, so and we we earlier video introduction and. Uh, bash shell this type of command we have seen okay then if we see the if config okay if we if config okay vxlang is not a part okay and you can see lots of uh, interfaces there but there is a only one interface which is communicating to the internet okay and rest of the things you can see this is a calico related uh, interfaces okay so now uh if we move to the cube ctl okay get type we get you hyphen a okay so you can see this is lots of api this is a namespace i told you calico is the beyond the service calico system this is a default way where can i create the pods this is cube system okay code dns and cube proxy meta lb we have installed and trigger is the installing your um what's say the pin you can say this is basically using for your networking part okay all of running if you say have any face the issue so as usual so kubectl okay kubectl describe if you want to more detail about this etcd master node okay so you can put the master node okay so uh, describe and this is the name okay describe name okay namespace okay and cube system do you want to know this system that means this namespace about this part so namespace okay q uh, system so you can see this uh, no limit resources no resource quotas or anything and you can understand this on this part okay also you can put the namespace metal lb okay metal lb system okay but under this metal lb system you can see port security q1 is or privilege enforcement one so that's label and this information you can get from this description descri describe so describe is basically if you have created any kind of pod services or anything metal lb any external services so you can give the describe command so you can understand very easily what is the problem what is the real things okay so we can see it okay so this is the enhanced matter of the kubernetes and k white calling the gates okay so now that's all of the kubernetes so we'll uh this is the all that that been all the information i have shared from the kubernetes part okay so if you have a require the more detail more information require more deep down things you have required please reach out to me again i'm telling you support at the product lab.com and my mobile number is 9748 so as of now thank you guys we'll see you in the next video